Good morning, everyone. After a very stormy day yesterday, it's finally a much more beautiful day today outside and the sun is shining. Um, I know I've taken a couple days off of Nehemiah, but I haven't forgotten. Um, so we're on chapter 10 and there's just some parts of, um, there's like a whole list of the names that I'm not going to read, uh, but I'll read to you the parts that really like stand out for me. Um, the rest of the people, priests, Levites, gatekeepers, singers, temple servants, and all who separated themselves from the neighboring peoples for the sake of the law of God together with their wives and all their sons and daughters are able to understand all these now join their brothers the nobles and bind themselves with a curse and an oath to follow the law of God given through Moses, the servant of God, to obey carefully all the commands, regulations, and decrees of the Lord our God. We promise not to give our daughters in marriage to people around us or to take their daughters for our sons. When the neighboring peoples bring merchandise or grain to sell on the Sabbath, we will not buy from them on the Sabbath or any holy day. Every seventh year, we will forgive, uh, we will forgo working the land and will cancel all debts. We assume the responsibility for carrying out the commands to give a third of a shekel each year for the service of the house of our God. Gonna take a sip of coffee. Mm. Bible and coffee in the morning. There is nothing like that for a good day's start. We assume the responsibility for carrying out the commands. Oh, I already read that. That's really important though. We assume the responsibility. Um, new moon festivals and appointed feasts for the holy offerings, for sin offerings to make atonement for Israel and for all the duties of the house of our God. We, the priests, the Levites, and the people have cast lots to determine when each of our families is to bring to the house of our God at set times each year a contribution of wood to burn on the altar of the Lord our God, as it is written in the law. We also assume responsibility for bringing to the house of the Lord each year the first fruits of our crops and every fruit tree. As it is also written in the law, we will bring the firstborn of our sons and our cattle, of our herds and our flocks to the house of our God, to the priest ministering there. Moreover, we will bring to the storerooms of the house of our God, to, to the priest, the first of our ground meal, of our grain offerings, of the fruit of all our trees, and our new wine and oil. And we will bring a tithe of our crops to the Levites. For it is the Levites who collect the tithes in all the towns where we work. A priest descended from Aaron is to accompany the Levites when they receive the tithes. And the Levites are to bring a tenth of the tithes up to the house of our God, to the storerooms of the treasury. The people of Israel, including the Levites, are to bring their contributions of grain, new wine, and oil to the storerooms, where the articles for the sanctuary are kept and where the ministering priests, the gatekeepers, and the singers stay. We will not neglect the house of our God. So good. Okay, so there are a couple things, two or three things that really stand out to me in this chapter. The first is the, the line, we assume responsibility. That's said like three or four times in this chapter. And I think if anything if you're rebuilding anything in your life, if you want anything in your life to be blessed, to, to go well, to produce fruit, you have to take responsibility. And I think that, um, you know, so many of us, it's a normal human thing. It's a fleshly human thing to say, I want the results without the work. Um, like, you know, it, we want we want to have a great life without putting in the work or we want to have like, you know, a great relationship, a romantic partner, a, a thriving business, money in our pockets and whatnot. 
But if you want all those things, you have to take responsibility for it. Um, and a huge part of responsibility is discipline. That's just every day working on things, even when it's not glamorous, even when you don't want to, um, you know, but also notice that they, they really take the Sabbath seriously. Um, and so that's part of responsibility too, is that you work six days out of the week and then you rest for a day. You take time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You take time to relax. Um, and just do something, do take a day to yourself or to do whatever you want. And to me, that's like, that's the best way to keep balance in taking responsibility. The second thing is this concept of first fruits. So, um, again, it's part of, sorry, it's part of responsibility. I'm getting really passionate here. Um, that like you know if, if we're not really following god then we're gonna take everything for ourselves you know um like the first fruit is the concept of the very first thing that burgeons in in the fruit of your business your life your job your family is that you dedicate that new beginning to the lord first fruits are a new beginning it's the first fruit of your crop, the first fruit of your job, the first fruit of your family, the first child that you, um, that you have, like, uh, the first sale that you make, like the first, whatever first, you know, you say, God, this beginning belongs to you. We dedicate it to you. And it's just reminding yourself that those blessings come from God. Um, and they go back to him in worship and in glory. And the third thing is everything about the house of God. Um, you know, it says we will not neglect the house of God. Um, and we assume responsibility to bring to the house of the Lord each year our first fruit. Um, it, like all of this is about taking care of the place where you worship. Now in a New Testament, in the New Testament, the house is our heart. Like it says that, uh, in the New Testament, the kingdom of God and our the temple becomes our body. And so it, it, you can translate all of this to, to taking care of yourself. You are the temple now that, that houses the Holy Spirit. And so you assume responsibility to take care of yourself, the, the temple where the Lord lives. Um, and we will not neglect the house of our God. So you don't neglect yourself. You don't neglect your life, your responsibilities, um, your passion, your purpose. Uh, and in that way, you give glory to God and you give it back to him. Um, yeah. So that those are my thoughts on Nehemiah 10. I will, there's three more chapters and I will go through those with you guys. All right. Have a good day.